Alrighty folks, so let's go ahead and show you how to install Purity ROM. So first and foremost, you're obviously gonna want to download the ROM and um, G app. So uh, in the link in the description below, of course, I'll have a link to the ROM. So go ahead and follow the links on that thread to download the ROM itself, as well as the second link in the description of this video to download the Paranoid Android G apps packages. Uh, be careful or at least make sure that you're downloading the Android 4.4.2 G apps package because that is what Purity ROM is going to be based off of. So first things first, First, uh, once you've gone ahead and downloaded those, make sure that you put those files or you connect your computer to your phone and then drag and drop those files onto your device's internal storage. Then what we're going to do is boot into recovery mode. So hopefully you guys have um, either TWRP or Clockwork Mod Recovery installed. If that's the case, go ahead and power off your device. And then what we're gonna do is boot into recovery by pressing and holding the power button and volume down button like so, and that'll take us into this screen here. Go ahead and press the volume down button until you achieve recovery mode, and then press the power button to uh, jump into there or hit the, as, as it were, an enter button. Um, so give that a moment just to put us into TWRP. Alrighty, now that we're in TWRP or Clockwork Mod Recovery, first thing I always recommend you guys do is jump into install or in Clockwork Mod Recovery, however you get there, um, and go ahead and scroll up and down and make sure that you can actually locate the two files, the ROM file as well as as well as your uh, GApps package because you don't want to wipe your device and then not have a ROM to flash afterwards. Now in my particular case, I am going to be using my little doodad here, so let me just go ahead and plug this in. And again, the method is going to be exactly the same for you guys. I'm just using an external storage at this point in time, or USB OTG, if you will. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and double check that it is, in fact, uh, on that storage card. And it is Purity ROM, or Purity Hammerhead, if you will. So that's great. Uh, so now what we can do, that we've now that we've confirmed that the uh, ROMs are on our device, we're going to go ahead and select Wipe. So again, I'm using TWRP. Those of you that are using Clockwork Mod Recovery, again, I don't know why you guys are still using that. You're going be wiping your cache, your Dalvik cache, and then doing a factory data reset. For those of us with TWRP, all you have to do again is just select wipe and then just go ahead and slide across and that'll do everything for you. Now that the device has been wiped, all we have to do is jump back into install, locate our ROM, okay and we're going to flash that now for those of you that are using twrp you can go ahead and select add more zips and then what we're going to do is go back and locate our g apps package which i have right here and then that'll add it that way it'll flash both files back to back so i'll go ahead and just swipe across and you'll notice in just a moment here there it is purity rom so we're flashing purity rom at the moment and once this is done flashing it'll then automatically flash g apps for us Alrighty, and it's all done flashing just like that. So from this point, all you literally have to do is just click on Reboot System Now. The first boot, of course, will always take a while with any ROM's first flash and first uh, boot up. Uh, so just be patient, but that's basically it, guys. Uh, hopefully you found it useful. If you did, click the likes button down below. If you're new to the channel, subscribe for more videos. That's it, and we'll see you in the next one, guys. Cheers.